and we're down to four days until the primary election where voters in Alabama will decide who will be the Republican representative for the U.S. Senate. The GOP race between Katie Britt, Mike Durant, and Representative Mo Brooks has shifted, and a runoff may be tough to avoid as Mo Brooks appears to be surging in the latest Emerson College poll. News 19's Archie Snowden joins us tonight with, with a message from Mo Brooks to his opposers and to the voters. Archie. Okay, thank you, Emily. And if you look at Mo Brooks's website, what stands out is a picture of him at a Donald Trump rally in August of 2021 in Coleman, Alabama, where Trump endorsed Brooks for a U.S. Senate seat in Alabama. Well, since then, Trump has famously withdrawn that endorsement for Brooks, but apparently it has not affected his run for the Senate. We need to get somebody who is perceived more favorably by the American people. And Mo Brooks says that that is what he's been saying all along. And the Republican voters in Alabama are listening. And the latest Emerson College poll showed Britt at 32% of support from Republican voters, followed by Mike Durant with 26% and Mo Brooks with 25%. Since the last college poll in March, Britt has risen nine points and Durant has lost seven points. And the surging Brooks has seen the largest gain with a 13-point increase all without the favorable support from GOP leaders in the House. I've been trying to caution everybody throughout this process that the polls are going to go up, they're going to go down, they're going to go up, they're going to go down. That's just the nature of a campaign. Uh, fortunately, we seem to be on an upswing uh, right before the election. But polls sometimes are right, sometimes are wrong. The only thing that really counts are the votes cast by those people who choose to go vote on Tuesday. Brooks is so confident in his chance to win the Senate seat in Alabama that he's been calling his campaign stops the Fire of Mitch McConnell tour, referring to the Senate Majority Leader recently contributing $2 million to the Super PAC to oppose the Brooks election. McConnell is expected to remain in the seat if Republicans win control of the Senate in November. 55 to 60 percent of the American people reject what he says before he has said a word. Mitch McConnell has served his time. It's time to get somebody different. I believe we can get somebody better, and that's what I'm going to urge our Senate conference to do. Now, Katie Britt has been garnering the most support from GOP leaders in Washington, but the top three candidates may need a runoff after the primary elections on May 24th. For now, we're live. Archie Snowden, News 19.